and on behalf of all of us and all at the FA, I am delighted to formally introduce Roy Hodgson as the New England manager. Thank you. For yourself, this month uh, has been your one-year anniversary as the England manager. Looking back, how has that been? Well, I've enjoyed it. I think it's, uh, I regard it as having been a very good year. It was a, uh, a thrown into the deep end of the, of the pool start, if you like, with just a, a few weeks and then the European Championships. But I enjoyed that period. I, I thought that, you know, it was the bond that I was able to form and my staff were able to form with the players was established relatively quickly. And I think that during the year, you know, we've, we've continued, if, if you like, to try and strengthen that bond and try and get ourselves into a, a situation where we're going to be competitive. But, you know, we've got a, a tough autumn coming up. We haven't sprinted away in the, in the group. It's very, very close. And we've got to make certain that in the next four qualifying games, three of which are at home, we press home our advantage and, and, and get to get to Brazil. It's been a it's been a hectic year on many fronts. You, you mentioned the Euros and then straight into the World Cup qualifiers. On top of that, there's the 150th anniversary of the Football Association. So I suppose in, in many ways has it flown by for you? Yeah, it has gone very quickly. I've got to say, it was only I think on about May the 3rd that I realised two days had passed when I should have been uh, celebrating an anniversary. But um, as I say, the support I've received from everybody has been really, really good. I've been very pleased with the, with the support from the, from the general public. And here at the FA, you know, really people could not have done more, if you like, to make me feel welcome and to make me feel as if we're all pulling in the same direction and we're all heading and, and, and trying to achieve the same goal. And when you would have, in football, I'm not at a club, I'm with a national team, but if you're with a club or with a national team, feeling that everybody is in tune, if you like, with your ideas and your philosophy, in tune with what you, know, you are hoping to achieve and are therefore doing everything they can to help you achieve it. That's, that's absolutely the most you can hope for. Everyone always says that the England job is, is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, and um, it's been a, quite a lot of changes since you first took over in terms of playing and, and the situation we've got. I mean, is that something that's a, a continuous scenario for you? Yeah, football is always a, always a, a changing and, and to some extent continuous scenario. I think we, we can't deny that uh, we're to some extent uh, in a situation where there is a changing of the guard. We've, we've had a very strong group of players going through the last maybe three tournaments, uh, all of whom I think are outstanding players and you know, are, are still good players today and are still playing the Premiership. But I think that if we're, if we're going to raise our heads and look to the future, we've got to start giving um, more responsibility to some of the younger ones that are, are coming through. We've also got tremendous talent and uh, great potential, but we're never going to see that potential if we, if we keep on with the old guard. So I'm really hoping that some of the players that have come into the team recently and excited us, that they're going to kick on and we're going to discover one or two more, not least of all in the under-21 tournament that's coming up in Israel where I think there are some interesting players in Stuart's squad that could quite easily be in my squad when that tournament's finished.